Hello and welcome back to the Lobo Designs channel. My name is Heather Lynn. I'm the owner of Lobo Designs and I'm here today with a quick tutorial to show you how to enter text inside of shapes and form it to that shape or type on a path, typing in a circle, all different options. So let's get started. The first thing that I'm going to show you is how to fill shapes with text. So I'm going to create a circle and a square on my artboard. I'm using the ellipse tool and the shift key, holding down, creating a circle. Shift X will change it to stroke. I'm going to also create a square and I'm going to create a hexagon. Okay, so what you can do for this is if you want to fill inside the circle or inside the square or inside the polygon and you want the text to shape directly to the outside object, you can use the type tool and you can just click on the path out here. So I'm going to go over into the type tool, which is T on your keyboard, T as in type, and I'm going to click on when it says path. See how here my smart guide says path. If you can't see your smart guides, you can hit command U or control U on your keyboard to make them show. You wanna click on where it says path and it will fill your shape with the default text. You can also copy and paste inside of here if you want your default text to be a paragraph from something else. You don't have to type it out. You can copy and paste. So you, that is an easy way to fill the shape with text. You can also change the alignment over here if you want to, to right alignment, center alignment. This is the justified alignment so that it keeps it in a total circle. So that is the shape of a circle. Don't forget if you're using this for laser design, you would then wanna go through the proper steps of converting to outlines and making sure that you expand strokes and unite any text that you need to. If you need tutorials on those, I have them on my channel and I'll link them below. So let's go into the square. So I'm going to go back into the type tool, T on your keyboard, hover over path, and it'll fill the square. Same for the polygon. We're going to get away from the square. We're gonna hover over the polygon where it says path and click. And that is the easiest way to fill shapes with text in Adobe Illustrator. Next, I'm going to show you how to type on paths around shapes. So let's select all and get rid of this. I'm going to again create a circle, shift X to make it a path. I'm going to go back and create a square and I'll create another polygon just for fun. All right, now we're going to type on a path. So we're gonna type around here. So what we're gonna do is go up into the type menu over here. We're gonna right click or left click and hold down. We're going to go to the type on a path tool. And for this one, all you have to do is click on the path again. So you're going to hover over, make sure that you can see where it says path and you're just going to click and it will add default text all the way around your circle. You can increase the size of the text over here in your character panel. If you can't see the character panel, go up into your window menu and choose character. I'm just gonna bump this up so you can see it a little bit more. And you can also edit this by copying and pasting. You can type it out manually if you'd like, but you can also change it to be on the inside of the circle. So I'm gonna click somewhere else. Whoop. I'm gonna make sure I don't have that selected. I'm gonna to go to my V selection tool, which is the empty arrow up here. I'm going to zoom in on this selected path. And see this line here? I'm gonna zoom in as much as I can. See this blue line, how it changes to an arrow when I hover over it? That's what you wanna click and drag when you wanna move your text from the outside of the circle to the inside of the circle. So I'm going to hold this and I'm just going to click and drag to the inside. And then it will we're gonna select all of this text. I'm just gonna make it a little bit smaller. And then I'm going to show you how to span this if you need to. So in Adobe Illustrator, it will add a beginning and an ending mark here. You can drag those as well. So if I want this to go all the way around the inside of the circle and not just at the bottom, you can hover over here, make sure the little tool pops up for you to be able to click and drag this. And you're just gonna drag it all the way around the circle to where you want it to stop. And then if you decide to change your mind and you wanna bring this back out to the outside of the circle, you can always move that right back onto the outside. And that is the easiest way to type on a path. We're gonna do that one more time. So let's go over here to this square. We're going to go to the type on a path tool. We're going to hover over and make sure it says path and click. Now for squares, you can change the layout of how it looks if you want to. Now for squares, it gets broken up at the corners, obviously, but again, the same thing applies. You can go into this, 
I hit escape to get out of the type on a path tool. I can go over here. I can pick this little line and bring it on the inside if I'd like. I can go over here to the markers and I can drag them out if I don't want the writing to be on the top at all. If I just want it to be on the bottom. Let's select this again. Bring this over. And same thing. You can go if you decide that you want it to be on the inside, you would just drag to the inside. And now we'll do it one more time for the polygon just so you get used to it. So we have the polygon. We're going to go up into the type on a path tool, hovering over path, click, and it will type around the edges. Again, escape to get out of that tool. You can hover over this line at the bottom to bring it on the inside. You can hover over the markers if you'd like to change them. Bring that on back onto the outside. Hovering over the markers. If you don't want it to be at the top. And that's how you use the type on a path tool. Now I'm going to show you, you can actually type on a path that you've drawn. So I'm going to delete these. I'm going to use the pencil tool and I'm just going to draw a wavy line straight across. Now you can use this as your path. So I'm going to take this and make sure that it has a stroke so that I can see it. I'm going to go over here to the type on a path tool and I'm going to hover over this path and I'm just going to click and it will start where I clicked. So if I wanted it to start down here at the bottom, I'm going to click path here and it'll start down at the bottom and it'll type all the way up across. Hitting escape, you can always take this and bring it to the bottom if you wanted it to be underneath. So those controls are always there. Doesn't matter what kind of path it is, you will always have these controls where you can hover over and make it shorter. You can hover over from the other side or you can take this little marker and drag it to the bottom or to the top. And with one more left, filling shape with text if you want to warp the shape. So I'm going to create a circle on my artboard. I'm going to change it to stroke just so that it's not filled. I'm going to create a word. So I'm going to do text and we'll type the word hello. I'm going to make it bigger. It's bold enough, I think. Now, you want to make sure that the object that's on top is the shape. So I'm going to just select this and I'm going to do command shift right bracket to bring it up to the top. You can also right click and do arrange bring to front and I'm going to now select both of these. I'm going to go up into object. I'm going to go into envelope distort and I'm going to do make with top object. And now it brings the text inside of the circle. When you're doing things like this, again, you want to expand, always expand, 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 expand. I can't say that more. So anytime you're using any kind of a transform or a distortion, you always want to expand or else it will not be recognized. This is outline view. Your text is missing. So picking this, we're going to go up into object, expand, click OK. And now if you go into outline mode, you can see that. Let's do that one more time. So I'm going to create a polygon. Let's create a hexagon on the artboard, change it to stroke. We're going to do text. Good morning. We're going to make this bigger. Make sure that this shape is on top. Arrange, bring to front. Select them both together. Object, envelope, distort, make with top object. And now it says good morning, but it's a mess. So you can always undo Command Z, go back into your text. Hit enter maybe, make this centered, and let's try it again. Selecting them both together, object, envelope distort, make with top object. And that looks a little bit better. If I was using this in a design, I would probably tweak it a little bit more to, to take up a little bit more of this space, but just for tutorial purposes, this will definitely work. If you ever want to edit the text, you do have to undo your transform. So you want to go back into here, say you want to make it a bigger font, make it a lot bigger. And now you can go back and do that envelope distort object, envelope distort, make the top object, and maybe it'll fit a little bit better. So you can always tweak that. Again, don't forget to expand that once you're done. But those are the best ways to insert text into your object. So you can either fill an object with text, you can actually type on the path or inside of a path, or you can warp your text to make it the shape of the object that you've just drawn. And that concludes this tutorial. As always, feel free to join us in the GlowCreate group on Facebook for additional tips and tricks on how to use Procreate and Adobe Illustrator beyond the screen to turn your digital artwork into physical products. If you enjoyed this video and would like to be notified of future tutorials, please hit the like button and subscribe below. Until next time, this is Heather Lynn of Lobo Design signing off. I'll holla at you later.